Well, this is breaking news. We've been following this morning. One of the leaders of the FLDS church is now behind bars after nearly a year on the run. The church leader, Lyle Jeffs, disappeared last year in 2016 while on house arrest. Yeah, Mike Wakas has been following this, uh, really what's developed over the last few decades, and he joins us live on the phone right now. This arrests almost a year to date since he went missing. What does this all mean, Mike? Good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah, my old buddy Lyle, he is the guy we have followed, chased, uh, pursued for many, many years. He was busted in South Dakota Wednesday night. He's been on the lam for almost a full year. It'll be a year next week. Uh, he was about to go on trial for welfare fraud up in Salt Lake City. He had an ankle monitoring device around his ankle. And apparently one night he lubed himself up with olive oil, slipped out of the GPS monitoring device, and he has been on the run ever since. Busted in South Dakota, which is probably not a great surprise because uh, about a decade ago when Warren Jeff started moving out of Colorado City and Hilldale and went down to Texas and et cetera, et cetera. They bought a big property in a place called Pringle, South Dakota, and they have a, a large FLDS presence there, and he was busted in South Dakota on Wednesday night. Hearing, are you hearing yet, Wakas, about how he may have been arrested, how uh, U.S. Marshals and investigators eventually found him there? Yeah, well, he's been, you know, look, they've been looking for him. It was a great embarrassment, honestly, to authorities when he slipped out of uh, the ankle bracelet up in Salt Lake and absconded a year ago. Uh, they didn't make it as big a high-profile pursuit as they did his older brother, Warren. Uh, of course, he's now doing a life sentence in Texas when Warren was a fugitive. And this is uh, when I got to uh, be sort of belly-bumped with Lyle. Because he was sort of run, he's been running the day-to-day -day operation for the FLDS as long as Warren's been in jail or in prison. So uh, we've had a lot of encounters with Lyle, but uh, uh, you know, apparently it was the FBI. I believe they've been on him, and uh, and the, you got to think that they've been looking in the area around South Dakota. There's still a big presence down in Texas. There's a support network. And there's some question whether Lyle was on the outs with Warren, so whether the foe, the FLDS were going to help him or not. But I'm sure he had support. That was my impression, that he was still getting a lot of support from the community. And the community is, is well uh, attuned into taking care of fugitives because they helped sustain Warren Jess when he was a fugitive in a really sophisticated mm -hmm. way. So they know how to do this. And uh, I'm not surprised they caught uh, Lyle. But uh, he had support out there, so I'm, I'm also not surprised. It took him a while. So, Mike, we're running out of time here, but really quickly, what does this mean for the FLDS church, considering now Warren Jeffs is behind bars, and after this, Lyle Jeffs is behind bars? You know, whenever there's one of these traumatic events for the FLDS community, everybody says, what does it mean for them? They're going to continue. There's a faithful core up there. We were up there not long ago. Uh, there, uh, Warren continues to call the shots from prison. Lyle, certainly, even behind bars, can communicate. The FLDS community will find other leaders, and they'll go on. And uh, they were there 100 years ago, as I've said before. They'll be there 100 years from now. All well, right. I know this has been your lifelong career story. Uh, Mike, and we thank you very much for that insight and for always being available to talk about this. Yeah, even when he's on vacation. <laughs> hey, well, listen, I'll break my vacation for you, too, anytime. <laughs> Aww. All, All right, right Wakas, enjoy your time off. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. You, too.